Hello, this is now question um, number three for uh, June 2014, um, AQA, uh, AS Physics. Um, okay, so in this video, um, we're just going to be, um, well, the question three for this paper is um, all about, uh, well, the main part of it is about something called the de Broglie wavelength, if I've uh, got that right correctly. I don't know. I don't know how you get it correctly or incorrect, but whatever. Um, and also, just uh, a quick question at the start, really. You don't need to write down. Okay, so the first one is only a one marker, so I can't really um, do much apart from just tell you uh, the answer. Um, so it says, what phenomenon can be used to demonstrate the wave properties of electrons? Now, um, we can so basically this is where it could be a wave or it could be a particle um, and, and the one that demonstrates it's a wave is the double slit um, interference so when we had no you could say single slit or whatever didn't really, uh, but double slit so double slit we had uh, one gap where it went through and then two gaps so it's not the best so we had so it went like that and then it split up again and then where these two crossed over here, so at that point we had some kind of interference effect, which I'll kind of like that. And that would be exactly the same if we fired electrons through there. Uh, and there's this whole uh, big scientific theory that when we put a camera there, we kind of break it down so there's no longer doing this. And we just see one particle coming through here, splitting up. Um, but again, that's a, a, a time for a completely different video, and that's not what it was asking. It was just simply asking for the name of that, um, which, as I said, you know, it's only one mark, so you could just get that from the website if you uh, if you didn't get what I was rambling on about there. So it's only worth one mark, so uh, no too biggie if you didn't get that one. As I said, you don't need to explain, you know, the proper double slit thing. Okay, so the next one, three B says calculate the wavelength of electrons travelling at a speed of 2.5 times 10 to the 5 meters per second. So the first thing I would do is note that down. So V is equal to 2.5 times 10 to the 5 meters per second. Okay, so this is question 3B. Right, now the only one that we have to do with wavelength, as I said, this is the Broglie wavelength. So lambda, or wavelength, equals H over MV. Um, okay, so therefore that tells us we need to find a few things out, and luckily, uh, obviously, we know H is Planck's constant, which is uh, 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34. That's just the number you don't need specifically the things after it. Um, which is, it tells you in the form sheet. Uh, M, so the mass of an electron, is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 uh, kilograms. I just remember these numbers because I'm a bit weird like that. Um, anyway, so this allows us to calculate the wavelength of lambda, remember this is in metres, so it's 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34, and that's over the mass, which is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31, times the velocity, which we said was over here, which is 2.5 times 10 to the 5 metres per second. Okay, put that in your calculator, shove it in, um, and you should get an answer equal um, if you want to find it. So what you should get? Um, okay, two point nine times ten to the nine meters. Ten to the minus nine meters. Sorry. Okay, so that's what you should get. Right for three b. So uh, now three c says the speed of the muons, which is just a heavy electron, has the same wavelength as these electrons. What speed is it? Um, Traveling that. So the first thing it says is it gives you a little thing saying the mass of a muon is 207 times the mass of the electron. So that's the first thing you do, work out what the mass of a muon was. So 3c, so the mass m is equal to 207 times brackets 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. And you could work that out if you wanted to, but I just leave that as the mass. Uh, now we know the lambda's going to be the same, which is 2.9 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. Uh, personally, for accuracy, I would leave this answer, so the specific answer you get in your calculator, in it. Um, I think, it's, anyway, so that could be quite a good idea. Um, obviously, you can completely ignore me and do whatever you want, but begs the question, why are you 
uh, you're listening to me waffle on and putting yourself through that pain if you're just going to ignore me anyway. Right, just switch off. Nothing like encouraging the viewer, right? Uh, anyway, so we know the mass, we know the lambda. Uh, obviously, we know H. I can just copy that down, which is uh, 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34. Okay, so we've got all the information we need now. Just sub in what we know. So, obviously, you've got to rewrite out the equation again just to make yourself that little bit smarter. Um, maybe not. So, you sub in 2.9 times 10 to the minus 9 meters equals 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 over, sorry about that pen, uh, mass times velocity, well, whatever the mass was, which was 207 times 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 times the velocity, which would just leave it as V meters per second. Okay, so you, know, you can switch it around, so you do um, 207 times, uh, I, I've not simple, I've not worked it out yet, just so you could see where these numbers are coming from. So basically, you can times it by all of that and divide by all that. Just switch, do the old switcheroo. So just move that to there and that back to there, okay? So then you would say 207 times 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 times V meters per second is equal to 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 over 2.9 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. Okay, then you've worked out, simplify for V, which I'm assuming you're quite capable human beings, you can do that, or maybe not. Uh, seeing as you're watching my video, I guess you're probably not. Uh, again, insulting everyone, brilliant. Um, so anyway, you get v, v meters per second is equal to 1.2 times 10 to the uh, 3 meters per second. And that's equal to V. Okay, so that's the speed the electrons would have to be travelling at to um, have the same uh, wavelength as the electrons. Now, um, just a bit of thinking, uh, this MV, you could say it's momentum, so you could just, instead of writing H over MV, you could just do H over rho or P. It means exactly the same thing. You just might see it written as this, uh, which is a bit more relatable if you're doing A2 physics. Uh, Sorry, but you know, it means exactly the same thing. I, I personally like seeing it more like this, but they might be a bit nasty. So just be aware that them two mean exactly the same thing. It's just the old snotty examiner again trying to catch you out. Uh, but if you're the snotty examiner mark in my paper, then you know, I um, I employ you just to give the paper to me so I can mark it. Okay, you know why not. Uh, anyway, we don't want all the stars, but anyway, yeah. So that's question three out of the way. I uh, hope it was, uh, again, of some help, keep saying that. I need to uh, shoot myself in the foot when I say that. <laughs> Shut up now, you can turn the freaking YouTube off. Um, anyway, so see you in the next question. Thanks for watching.